With the Pokemon Sword and Shield Isle of Armor expansion pass coming out today for the Nintendo Switch, I wanted to make a video going over some of the Pokemon that I'm going to be taking and capturing on my journey in the Isle of Armor. Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here and welcome back to another video today. We're doing Pokemon and we're going to be talking about the Isle of Armor expansion for Sword and Shield. This new expansion is a brand new landmass full of brand new returning Pokemon that were not in the base game, brand new legendary and mythical Pokemon, and a brand new story to experience with the Pokemon Cub Fu. I am really excited for some more Pokemon content. Usually we have to wait an entire year for a new game, and that's the only stuff we get. Maybe we get some side games and some spin-offs, but we're getting additional content, and that is really awesome. It's the first time we've ever done that, and it's looking like it's going to be really good. Of course, as all of you know, the DLC comes in two parts today. Uh, there was a uh, Game Freak, uh, a Pokemon uh, Direct style video out earlier today, and the DLC is now out. I hope you guys are all enjoying it. It's really exciting stuff. And the second part comes out in the fall, and it's the Crown Tundra, which is a second expansive mass of land that we don't know about yet that we're going to get to explore. With these comes old returning Pokemon that were not in the base game. And those are going to be the Pokemon that I'm going to use on this new journey. One of the things that we found a couple days ago is that there is dynamic leveling in this new expansion. Meaning if you go into the uh, this mini region with a team of level 5s or level 20s, the wild Pokemon and the trainer Pokemon are all also going to be those levels. That means you can have a little mini adventure of your own, which is what I'm going to be doing. Or you can go guns blazing with all level 100 mons and just breeze right through it. But that's no fun. Who would want to do that? With that being said, one Pokemon is going to be coming over with me to the Isle of Armor. It is a Lapras, a Lapras that I have been shiny hunting for the last five weeks, and I have not gotten this purple guy yet. But <laughs> Lapras is going to be the only Pokemon that I'm bringing over with me from the mainland. It was not one of my original teammates or anything like that. Those guys are all going to stay tight in the boxes. But he's going to be coming over with me, and he's going to hopefully using some of the new features in the Isle of Armor, get the ability to Gigantamax into the gorgeous Gigantamax Lapras design that came out in Sword and Shield. It's on this thumbnail. It's fantastic. Big thanks to Zyko for the thumbnail. The other team members are going to be interesting. I wanted to use some different varied mons for this, and the first one is brand new. It's the legendary Pokemon Cub Fu, a fighting type koala bear looking kung fu guy who i kind of want to name knuckles or something like that as his nickname uh we don't know a lot about him right now he's genderless he's legendary uh he is two feet tall he weighs 25 pounds <laughs> there's, there's not a ton we know about him he's a fighting type but the most interesting thing is that he has two different evolutions both of them are urshifu but there are two different forms this is probably the most interesting part of this entire thing he's got the single strike style evolution which is a fighting and dark type or a rapid strike style which is a fighting water type it's been a while since we've gotten a really legit water type legendary and you get one of these two you get to pick depending on the tower on the isle of armor that you go to and train so you either get single strike or rapid strike i have not completely decided which of them i'm going to be using one because we don't know a ton whether it's move sets or abilities, things like that. But two, I kind of want to see how it all plays out. As you'll find out later on in this list, the team is not totally set. I've got, uh, what is it, five guys on the team that I've pretty much picked out that I want to use. And then I'm going to leave the, the sixth spot open to see what I see, because I highly doubt they've revealed all the Pokemon returning. So Cubfu is going to be the second member of the team. Early on in Isle of Armor, they also give you the chance to grab a Squirtle or a Bulbasaur, not a Charmander, and those two have the ability to G-Max into brand new forms. I don't think I'm going to use either of them on my team. Maybe Squirtle, maybe, like, I doubt it. I've used them so many times. I've constantly used those starters, whether it was red and blue and yellow, fire red and leaf green, uh, getting them in heart gold and soul silver, using, uh, acquiring all three of them in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. We've used them so many times. It's not the G Max is not something that interests me in getting them again. 
This next guy, on the other hand, I'm very interested in, and that is Shinx. Shinx is obtainable in Pokemon in the Isle of Armor, and eventually it will evolve into the glorious Electric-type Pokemon, Luxray. Luxray is one of my favorite Gen 4 Pokemon. The design is stunning. The moveset, the Elemental Fang moves that he gets are awesome, and they're really powerful, and he levels up at a decently low level. Shinx evolves into Luxio at level 15, and then Luxio to Luxray at 30, so you can get him pretty early on. And considering we don't know how long the Isle of Armor really is, I figured this was probably a good level of Pokemon to pick because I would have a full team of fully evolved Pokemon, hopefully by the end. He learns some good moves, um, some good status afflicting moves as well. Electric Terrain is one that's also pretty useful. Roar for field Pokemon dealing with... Um, getting out of wild battles. Protect is also one that's pretty good for him. He can learn that through TM. Uh, so Luxray is going to be the third Pokemon on my team. Next up, a fi uh, flying type Pokemon, but also a fire type Pokemon. I misspoke there for a moment. Flying is not one that I use a ton, but we're going to use it this time. That is Talonflame, the fire flying type bird from generation six from the Kalos region. I never used Talonflame when I played X and Y. It was mostly because I always went with Fennekin. Fennekin, Brakeson, and Delphox. It's my favorite starter line, don't kill me, uh, of Gen 6. So I never felt the need to use another fire type. The only other time that I decided to go with Greninja as my starter uh, for his final evolution of Froakie, I believe I went with Pyroar instead, not Talonflame. So I've never used one before. And it is one of the best early game birds that Pokemon has ever put out. It's the first time we're going to be able to acquire him in Gen 8. He learns a ton of great fire type moves and some really powerful flying type moves like Brave Bird at level 64. You can learn Hone Claws, which is really good for boosting attack stats and boosting accuracy. It's going to be really good to have a Talon Flame on my team for the first time. Maybe I'll even get lucky and get a shiny because it's gold underbelly and underwings is just beautiful on this Pokemon. It's fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. The last Pokemon that I pretty much have listed is Lycanroc. Here's the problem with Lycanroc. It has a Dusk form, which is my favorite version of the Pokemon. It's just that it was a little complicated to get in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and we're not totally sure if Lycanroc is going to be able to get all three forms. That would be Midnight, Midday, and Dusk in the Isle of Armor. We just don't know. If I'm able to get Dusk Form Lycanroc, which is a beautiful orange, really good attack stat, uh, has some really good abilities, you can either do Kenai, Sand Rush, or Steadfast, which is its uh, hidden ability for midday form. And then for Dusk Form, it's got Tough Claws as its hidden ability. It's just, or No Guard for its hidden ability. D uh, Tough Claws is another ability that it can get. It's just a really good Pokemon all around. Solid moves, solid ability, solid stats. It's a tank. Um, Midday form is also one of my favorites. Not the big midnight guy. I don't know. Just a bit of a different design than I'm used to. And it's a rock type. Rock type is not something that I use a ton. And it'd be really good to use it on this team. I think it would be a fun change of pace. There are a lot of Gen 7 Pokemon that I really, really like. Whether it's Lycanroc, Beware, Palosand. They're all really good. Um, Mudsdale is also another really good Gen 7 Pokemon. Um... Serena is also a really good one. That one was in the base game, but if it wasn't, honestly, I might I would just go full Gen 7 again. I love the Gen 7 Pokemon. Not a big region guy for Alola, but the, the Pokemon themselves, utterly fantastic. And then that leaves the last spot, number six. I'm saving this one. Maybe I'll update in the future, put it in my discussion page, my community tab, or drop it in the comments or on Twitter who I end up going with, but... I have a hunch that we do not know a ton about this expansion yet. There's probably Pokemon that we haven't seen that are here, probably Pokemon that are going to get new GMAX forms or, or Galarian forms that we haven't seen. And I want to save a spot for that. So the team right now is Lapras, Cubfu, Luxray, Lycanroc, and Talonflame. Good mix. We got a water type. We got a fighting type. We got an electric type, rock type, flying type, fire type. This is going to be a good time. If Dragonite's here, I'm picking a Dragonite as well, because that'd be freaking sick. But it's just going to be a great time. I hope you're all excited for the expansion as much as I am. If you're getting it day one, if you're already playing it, because it's out by the time this video goes up, let me know in the comments down below what your team's going to look like and what your approach is for going into this new expansion. 
With that being said, more videos will be coming in the next couple days. Some Minecraft videos, part two of my Pokemon discussion video with Joey. It's going to be a good time on the channel. Hopefully you guys remain subscribed if you want to see more. And if you haven't already, please leave a like on the video because it shows your support for me. And it's just really good to help this video get seen by more people. But anyway, I've wasted enough of your time today. Go out and play the Isle of Armor. Enjoy. Follow me on Twitter at LinkyYT because I'll be tweeting about it all day. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.